Good morning, folks. We're watching an active region with real sunspots turning in. There's weather and top science news. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with coronal holes turning away, bright regions turning in. The southern point is merely umbral fields and surface magnetism, but the northern group offers us the first real sunspots in a while. Flaring has not yet begun, but monitoring is at high level. That active region is growing in a clumpy form, not the lateral spread we usually see. You can really see how different it looks from the southern grouping in the magnetic view. Definitely have a bipolar spot, with chances to develop today beyond the simple beta class magnetism. As the coronal holes turn away, their streams begin to arrive at Earth. While things are not at any concerning level at the moment, we do see a rise in solar wind intensity just this morning, but just like the flaring, geomagnetic instability has yet to materialize with it. We are kicking off the weather in Johannesburg, where a major hailstorm added to a deluge that flooded the streets of the city. Waters are receding, but not before destroying a good number of cars and halting most transportation in the metro area. Of course, we'll continue monitoring the preposterous cold wave slamming the Americas. Cold records are being raised into memory by this Arctic intrusion, and it's not over yet. Let's go to the ESA. They're planning the next level space weather monitoring mission. By combining position and shielding, they aim to have a device that will deliver the warning of when things are going to get bad. They plan to use the L5 Lagrange point that's located near where Stereo A is currently located and which will be our crystal ball looking ahead to what's turning in to face Earth. But perhaps the more terrestrially important mission they are planning is SMILE. The mission will aim to closely analyze the solar wind, magnetosphere, ionosphere coupling interactions, which, if done properly, will demonstrate the key link that delivers solar energy into the global electric circuit. Fun article out of Yale on how you could explain the weird pushed apart orbits of exoplanet systems by the tilts of those planets. Many, many show that odd scattering. But it is also what is expected with resonance changes in the system in the Cladney plate models of those systems. Just worth a note. Up next, we're going to pulsars and checking in on one that they thought was having abnormal light outbursts, but it turns out that the pulsar was merely having magnetic reversals. The initial interpretations of the events were clouded by the spin down, a noticeable rotation speed change in the pulsar, and the electromagnetic events there occurred during the slowdown of rotation. Let's get up to a galactic level and find an amazing look at photons themselves being dark matter. They are so small, they are usually ignored at cosmological scales, but it's not without mass entirely, and the output by the galaxies and the stars within them means we could be missing tens of millions of stars worth of matter contributing to the galactic rotation. Empty space is not so empty, and this is critical for two reasons. First, we have yet another article on that topic here claiming that the Cigar Galaxy, one of the more famous, well-studied, and fascinating starburst-type galaxies, has revealed yet another secret. The magnetic fields not only help carry the interstellar medium out into the intergalactic medium, but if that was the case early in the universe, then those fields have been in control for billions of years. The second reason it's critical is because of the deeper look we posted yesterday. Our full Cosmology Plasma Universe presentation from OTF 2019 is posted there now in the members section, and the only thing needed to debunk dark matter at the galactic level is that the unseen matter of the galaxy is hiding out around it. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.